Jacob, Isaiah, Daniel, so you convey the message, what is our purpose of this life? But we don't believe none of them claim to be God. Because God, when he sent them, he sent them to convey the message. That's why God sent the Quran. If any one of them claimed to be God, then God will destroy him. Because they were doing the job of God, meaning conveying what is our purpose in this life. Because our intellect is limited. We cannot know in detail how to worship our Creator. If you, if you agree that our intellect is limited, yeah. it's not for me to comprehend how Jesus was God and human at the same time. That's a good because question. No, I can't no. comprehend. No, we're not talking, we're going to say our intellect is limited. When we're talking about God and human, we're talking about something we can comprehend. You see, I'm not asking you how, how big God is or how does he look because we don't know so the question that our that the subject we are dealing with in hand is a subject that both us we know human we know who, who is human they are imperfect they are born everything so we know who's human if you tell me god became human i'll tell you it doesn't make any sense because i know who he the nature of human being you understand so we're not talking about something beyond our comprehension our understanding you with me so now if god became a human that's a contradiction because but God... If you, but if you accept the Bible and say that God sent his son to be human for a given period of time until he became God again, then that's... That's a contradiction. It doesn't make any God sense. God's son to become human. Can, can God decide to become a human? Can he? That's He's it. So okay, when you say can... can. No, 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 no. Because I don't think God cannot. Wait, 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 brother. You can ask question. There's difference between... Brother, brother, brother. There's difference between what God is and what God does. What God is, does it change? Okay. So you are you doing? You talking about God? What God does? Then you said, can it change? No. God, what God is, that will make God. Now, for example, can you say God? He knows sometimes. He doesn't know sometimes. Or you say God knows everything all the time. That's it. So what we talking about? What God is? What God is doesn't change. What God does? He does whatever he wishes. According but to his wisdom, he's still, he's still the possibility. He stand there, he can become a human. That's paradox, brother. No, but it's a possibility if you want. Said, okay. He can. Okay. No. Which is the same question? Can no. You make a no. That he can lift? The same no. That's a paradox. That's a paradox. It's a paradox. You agree with it? Yeah. yeah. It's a paradox because if God became human, okay. Now what is human? Human doesn't have God power anymore. So what happened to his power? Gone. So where's gonna start? Be confused. I need to become God back again. Come on, brother. No, but that's why he's saying when he's believing Trinity as a Christian. Brother, you know it's paradox, by the way. No, it's not paradox. Why? You know, if I, no, you, no, I know. I yeah. Some paradox people. is like telling me someone exists yeah. and don't exist at the same time. Yeah. It's a paradox. Yeah. Is it not paradox? God, perfect all the time, yeah. but he's going to become imperfect. That's a paradox. Because if you say God perfect by definition all the times, then you say to me, you know what? 2002, he became imperfect. <laughs> But you just told me God is perfect all the times. That's why you have differentiated between what God is and what God does. What God is does not change. What God does, He spoke to Moses, but He never spoke to me. You know? He created the Jesus without a father, but not me. You understand? He spoke to Prophet Muhammad, but not you. You understand? You know, the, 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 no, brother, this possibility. Brother, this possibility. No, it doesn't make any sense, brother. I forgot possibilities. Because what you have to understand, bro, there is something which really exists. And something only exists in your head. Like the brother mentioned here, a good point. It can God create stone that he cannot lift? That is a paradox. This 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 question is wrong. Why? Because if God was able to create something heavy, therefore God has more power than it to begin with. You see, and the the, the last the last part of the question contradicts the first part of the question. And this was uh, this question was created and was made by a group called Sovastar Iyun from the Greek philosophers. Aristotle himself refuted them, Plato refuted them. What they used to do in the argument is to create questions which doesn't make any sense, just to confuse the, the opponents. You with me? Okay? So what God is doesn't change. So the point here, bro, look, what we say to you, we keep talking about Christianity. Islam is simple. God is one. Okay? God is three in one. Doesn't make any sense, that's a shampoo. Hmm? Three in one shampoo? <laughs> doesn't make any sense, how three in one? <laughs> Shampoo, you know shampoo? Three in one. I'm joking. But look, how good is three in one, bro? That doesn't make any sense as well. That's a paradox. But, but you just said we're humans and we don't understand everything. No, but again. Definition also. Bro, again. No, no, brother, brother, it's not about small. Brother, you agree with him? What is he talking about? Yeah, you said, bro, it's small. No. no. Wait, wait, brother. Yeah, yeah, listen, listen, brother. What you have to understand, bro? Again, what we're talking about here, we're not talking about something we cannot understand. Let me make it clear to you. Is the Father fully God? 
How many code we have now? How many code we have? One God. One God. Now, okay. Is the sun fully God? Now, yes. When he was on earth, he was. Yeah, yeah. Even now. Is he, is he fully yeah, God for the sake of argument? How many God we have now? So one. So How many God you have? No, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Father is fully God. The son, so if the Father is fully God, we only have one God. We, I'm not in need of another God. Father, I knew it. <laughs> he knows, he knows. He knows, he knows. He knows. <laughs> look, you know why, yeah? Well, I believe the mighty messenger Jesus, he never came with this teaching. That's a teaching that was adapted by the pagans, the Roman pagans. Jesus never came with this. Jesus clearly said, the only true God is the Father. In the Quran, he said clearly also, all the Israelites, worship your God and your, my God, who is Allah. The teaching of Jesus is so clear. The, 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 the true teaching of Jesus, it makes sense to a child, likewise it makes sense to the shepherd, likewise it makes sense to the person who has PhD in Oxford University. The true teaching of Jesus. Why? Sorry brother. One God, send the prophets and messengers. Not God, there's two God, but there's one God, but the Father is fully God, the Son is fully God, but there's only one, two God, one God. If you only have one God, if you have the Holy Spirit, how many God do you have? It's still one God. Come on, bro. That's why, you know, Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. Do you agree with that? That is John 10, 3. Wait, wait, brother. Yeah, I agree here yeah, because the Father. My Father. Yes, yeah, good point. The Father was used among the Israelites to refer to God because God used to take care of them. So they used it as metaphorical, not as, and also in Aramaic, Aramaic, you know, Aramaic is another language, Syriac, Aramaic. No, not Aramaic, Syriac. Syriac, they used to refer to God as an Ab, which means Arab, the Lord, you see. But people afterwards misunderstood it, to, took it as literal. They, they took it as literal. No, as I said, that term Father was used as a Lord, not as actual Father. So he meant Lord. Yes, father. that's what he meant, yeah. 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 So my question was, is to you now, bro, yeah? I'm sorry for, sorry for taking your time. Thank you. Well, listen to this, bro, watch this, yeah? When Jesus said the only true God is the Father, was he speaking the truth or was he lying? Of course, was he speaking the truth? Is Jesus the Father? He's not the Father, no. Is Jesus God? Yes. But Jesus said the only true God is the Father. And you just told me Jesus is not the Father. You said in the Bible. What he said so many times. Because you just agreed the only true God is the Father. Okay? And you agreed with me, no, I'm not putting words in your mouth. You agreed with me, Jesus is not the Father. The thing is, you know the Bible better than I do, probably, right now. Yeah, but I found